Pictures from the field. This is where the plumbers knew what was going on. What are these sinks called? Prep sink, a pot scullery sink, a single compartment of a pot scullery sink, which can be single compartment, double compartment, triple compartments, can be used, can have one of the pot scullery sink basins used for what we call produce preparation. If you look at the very bottom of your screen, they can be going into floor sinks with DWV if there's a sign up. The one on the right, there's no sign yet. The one on the left, there is a sign. So that is all okay. These are triple compartment pot scullery sinks. You're seeing two different ways of doing it. Each one of those compartments is worth four fixture units. As part of this drainage system, nothing can be PVC. Everything has to be cast iron or copper tubing, DWV. And this is two plumbers who chose two different ways to, because we're in two different applications of two different restaurants. We have the plumber on the left did a really, really nice job with cast brass drainage fittings, double sanitary tees. This is okay here, even though some of you are going to like go, hey, that's a violation of the code. He put a clean out there. If you've ever done one of these, it's no different than when you're underneath a kitchen sink in a residential dwelling. You have two double bowl sinks that you're tying together, but we use three inch on both. One's three inch cast iron, no hub. The other one's three inch cast brass. You see in floor sink over here for, not for this particular triple compartment sink. When we're talking produce, we're talking about washing lettuce, washing onions, washing tomatoes anything that would be part of a salad. Produce sink is really not supposed to be used for washing meats and all that kind of stuff. That's a whole kind of different piece. There's a sign, also part of your code, also part of your job to make sure that sign is up before you call for a final inspection on any sink. <laughs>